My name is Zeb Chadfield, and I am going to give you a quick little demo in Resolve today on using Smartbins to keep a project organized. So if I dive straight into DaVinci Resolve, you can see I've got a project here which is just filled with nonsense, basically. What I've done is I've made a bunch of um, pre-made Smartbins, just so you don't have to sit through me typing them all up. But uh, they're all very, very easy. So you can see the way that you might keep things organized in terms of what I've done here, not HD, HD, the different frame rates, stills, audio, master timeline, non-master timelines. Um, this just is uh, a few examples. There's literally thousands of combinations of, of things that you can do with smart bins. Uh, but let me just show you this one here. So in terms of the not HD um, setting, all I've done is set resolution is not 1920, 1080. So very, very simple. Same here with uh, 25 frames a second. The frame rate is 25 frames a second. Obviously you can choose any different frame rate and set that up. So you can also do combinations of things. So when I jump into the non master timelines, you can see at the moment it actually does currently have the master in there. So all I would do is add another section here to say file name does not contain master. And then what you'll see in there is only sequences that don't have the word master, whereas in here you will only see a sequence that does have the word master. So you can literally do any combination of things you want in there. But where I think it becomes uh, even more powerful is if I was to jump into, say for instance, um, this not HD bunch of clips here and I wanted to mark all of those uh, so that I could find them in a timeline. I can go in and use the uh, clip color to give it a specific color. So in this case I'm going to say orange and then I could also um, just for the example here I could also go in and set my flag. So I'll show you why you might use flags and clip colors differently uh, and that's all very simple too. So let me set these to a red flag. Uh, so if I go into my timeline here you can see straight away that all of the um, clips that I've marked uh, are up the front here and they're all in orange. So if I go into timeline select uh, clips with clip color orange. I can then, uh, let's just lock off the audio and I could move the video to a different layer. So that's a very nice way of quickly keeping things organized. The other thing that I can uh, do is actually within the color tab is I can see the flags are coming up in here. So um, what that allows me to do is then really quickly jump between clips and see very clearly in the clip mode where things are that I might need to address. So that could be drone shots that I need to treat in a specific way, or it could be shots that I want to be in black and white. It could be any number of things. Um, or it could be just to remind me that this is a different frame rate and I need to get it standards converted or something like that too. So it's very, very simple, very, very easy. Uh, helps with navigation, um, but also it just means that rather than manually keeping things organized, everything can just be thrown into a, t into a project and uh, organized with smart bins. I hope that's of some help to you. These demos have been sponsored by CraftKit, so if you need any DaVinci Resolve or Blackmagic or general post-production kit, get in touch with CraftKit. Cheers.